Now, uh, just to contrast, we heard President Obama. Sorry. We heard President Obama basically say uh, the Republicans. Uh, they try and talk tough, but they're afraid of uh, three-year-old orphans. That seems to be a problem. Well, uh, apparently, Ted Cruz really took issue with the I'm way that sure he was he, characterized. No doubt. And um, he really, <laughs> it's the, now understand. He loves Christian children. He, he understands that the Republicans got very upset when anybody cri criticized uh, uh, George Bush. And then the idea, if you were on a trip, and you were outside of the country yeah. and you criticized George Bush. That's the worst thing you could do. Like the Dixie Chicks, they should have been. Yeah, Hannity they was been, really they, steamed. Yeah, he was steamed. How could the Dixie That's Chicks That's why there's that? no Christmas, Sam. That's why there's a war on Christmas. This is all, basically what we're saying is, is then there's no Christmas. Now we have multiple, we have multiple um, uh, examples of Republicans going to foreign countries and criticizing President Obama. He didn't whine, whine about it. But here's Ted Cruz sort of flipping it. Like the idea that generically President Obama would criticize generically a response at home uh -huh. while he's overseas is offensive. And I'll tell you something, Ted Cruz, you don't get away with it. Let's say it to his Not face. Not on his watch. Say it to his <laughs> face. Well, I, I will say it's, it's fairly remarkable that President Obama has now chosen two days in a row to attack me directly. Uh, he just called me offensive the day before. Him, yes. He called him. me un-American. Uh, you know, I think that's really quite rich that he chose to do make both of those insults uh, on foreign soil uh, while he was abroad attacking me and attacking everyone else in this country who believes we should not be bringing in tens of thousands of Syrian Muslim refugees that the Obama administration cannot vet to determine whether or not they are ISIS terrorists. I got to tell you, it is utterly unbefitting of a president oh, yeah. to be sure. engaging in those kind of personal insults and attacks. Yeah. And, you know, he also he talked about how he was belittling the Republican field as scared. Well, let me suggest something, Mr. President. Uh oh, here it comes. If you want to insult me, you can do it overseas. You can do it in Turkey. You can do it in foreign countries. He just said well, you should. I would encourage you, Mr. President, come back and insult me to my face. Oh! Let's have a debate. On you Syria just got served. Right now, you, you can do it anywhere you want. Served. I prefer it in the United States and not overseas, where you're making the insults. It's easy to chop a, to toss a cheap insult when no one can respond. But let's have a debate. We'll do it on any station. All right, it's so there easy you. to choss a teep insult. I will always provide cheap insults. He was about Ted to Cruz. say choss a teep. T Ted Cruz is so full of shit. It's unbelievable. And what an... Uh, hey, he was talking about me. Look, it's about me, me, me. Say it to my face. He's He, <laughs> he is such a pretender to the dumb. You yep. know I mean, he is not as dumb as he pretends. Not at pretends. all. He's certainly a douchebag. Pardon my French. That really is French. I feel comfortable saying it. I'm sorry. I spoke... I spoke French in solidarity with douchebag. I'm sorry, I said du le douchebag. <laughs> Today, we are all the douchebags. <laughs> I'm sorry. Be that as it may, Ted Cruz is a provocateur. He's an opportunist. He's, he, the, these guys are all almost like bad uh, performance artists. Remember how I used to say that Ann Coulter was Andy Kaufman? Yes, and I really yes. believed that someday we would find out that I Andy Kaufman... I asked her that uh, to her face. At and the, did she know what uh, you the, meant? She pretended like she didn't know who Andy Kaufman was. That's a which that's is exactly a lot of bullets. That's what, what he Andy would do. Kaufman would do. That's what he would do. But now I'm starting to think that uh, it's not her. It's one of these other guys. But there's too many now. There's too many. Unless it's got a boy. Well, from but Brazil by now Andy Kaufman and would probably been, have kids who are probably no, in their twenties. There's a 20s. bunch of Kaufmans waiting. A bunch right. of, of acolytes. That's a, that's why I said boys from Brazil. Right. Oh yeah. Uh, they, he's been they, cloned. They, they've been something's going on, and that's mm. what this feel is. He's sending them out, and they're. They're becoming, they're becoming. Yeah, they're just the rise of a new generation of anti-comedy, which is what what they're doing. That's very possible. I mean, that's uh, it's, it's it's a way to offend to walk the room. What they're trying to do look, is walk the room on a global scale. But here's the thing: <laughs> that Ted Cruz um, say it to my face. Yeah, I would say probably worth four four points uh, bump in the Republican polls. <laughs> <laughs>